First time in a year, and we get it. First time in a year that they've had rain. Should have had us off a sooner. <laughs> Never seen a bike like that before. It's like a penny farthing on stilts. So this Alex Madonna, I'm guessing, was a uh, fan of pink, definitely. There's no denying that's an impressive view down there. Welcome back to the channel. Whirly and Nick, a couple from the UK. In 2017, due to a health scare, we gave up our 95 lives and bought a lodge on the east coast of England, where we started enjoying life and seeing more of the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us on our biggest adventure yet as we drive from LA to Orlando on our USA road trip. Welcome to a new day, a new road trip adventure. Just packing. Nick's packing. Uh, today we are heading up the Pacific Coast Highway. We are at five hours until we get to our next stop, which is San Francisco. We're actually we're three, three hours up it already. Yeah, we're three hours up it. This last night where we've just stayed in this hotel in Santa Maria was just a stop off. Nice hotel, definitely recommend staying here. Um, just got to remind myself what it's called. What's it called again? Candlewood Suites. Candlewood Suites. Um, so if you didn't see us staying here, check out our last vlog and I'll show you around this hotel room, which is really, really nice. Um, so we are heading off up the Pacific Coast Highway today. We have stops along the way. We're going to hopefully get some clam chowder in a big bread bowl. We've seen that on vlogs Morrow and stuff. Morrow Bay, we're going to have that. At Morrow Bay. The weather isn't looking great. I mean, I can see a little bit of blue sky, um, but um, not exactly how we imagined it to be driving up the Pacific Coast Highway. So anyway, at some point today in this vlog, we will get to San Francisco. We'll check into our hotel. We are there for three nights. We're doing a wine tour one day. We are checking out the San Francisco sites uh, another day. And um, that's our plan for today. Come on, bellboy. We lit in. Okay. We lit in. So we've never ever used one of these before, but with the amount of luggage that we've got on this trip, we've got a lot. We've got to you do it every time we go to a hotel now. So uh, right, get it loaded. Right, goodbye room. You were nice for one night. It's a shame, isn't it? One night. Yeah. Had a nice meal there yesterday. If you watched the last vlog, uh, well, microwave meal, <laughs> microwave meal, a lot of meal, and some popcorn. And um, nice coffee this morning as well. We had some decaf coffee, so uh, that was nice. And um, let's go. Just getting his ice for the journey. Rain. <laughs> Rain and at least it's cool. First time in a year, and we get it. First time in a year that they've had rain. Should have had us over sooner. <laughs> to Pomeroy Avenue. That was random. Right, here we are in like Pismore Beach. Um, so we're gonna find the pier and hopefully have some breakfast or something like that. So last Is night, restaurant there? we were gonna be up there for a sunset and yeah. actually picked out a spot. But um, um, that I saw in another YouTube video, but yeah. obviously it was crap weather. We didn't even see a sunset out of our hotel. Barbecue and seafood. Turn left onto Pomeroy Avenue. Pomeroy Avenue, where's this? There's the pier on the end. This looks like it could be lively on an evening. Yeah, definitely, but it's very bright and little. Is parking here? Uh, in this, just for oh, this. customer parking yeah. only. We'll go. Oh, the subway. We weren't having subway at breakfast anyway. Right, we've just downloaded this app to uh, pay for some parking. Well, because my Google account is a UK account, it's not available in my country, but I'm using an app, which I use quite often, called APK Pure, which lets you get any APK that you're not supposed to download in another country to download. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I am actually downloading it and I'm gonna install it. There's a strong smell of fish here, isn't there? It's not fish, it's a smell of... Clam chowder? Ponds, seafoody. Award-winning clam chowder there. That's what it smells like, I ain't having it. Never seen a bite like that before. Like a penny farthing on stilts. Right, so that parking was a disaster. Couldn't install the app because text now where I have my USA number wouldn't allow me to receive verification codes if, unless I upgraded. Tried to upgrade, it says you can't do it in your country. So we ended up driving to a public car park and using a pay and display machine. So uh, we're just walking down now towards the pier. It feels very San Francisco, doesn't it, down here? Yes, and it's raining. Yeah, it is trickling, actually. If only the sun was out, <laughs> this would have looked amazing. Probably the first time in a year it's looked like this, Nick. <laughs> Probably. Look at these apartments here, though. Yeah, Imagine nice. staying there, especially with the sunset. Yeah. The sun literally goes down over there. Now, further down here, 
it's one of the only places in California that you can take your car on the beach. So I think we're going to have a go at that. That's just telling you about the history of the Pismo clams, which is why um, clam chowder is very, very popular here. So um, they were harvested by the millions on Pismo Beach and supported a thriving commercial and recreational fishery. They've got to be bigger than 4.5 inches well. That's a big clam. We think we're going to eat on the pier at Sunsets at Pismo. This is the um, menu. I think I'm going to go for avocado and brioche toast. Nick's going to go for shrimp and bacon. I'm going to break the tradition and I'm going to have coffee, but I'm going to have a decaf coffee with coconut cinnamon. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you can even get whipped cream on it. Oh, no. Right, breakfast here. Uh, they weren't doing the shrimp, which Nick wanted. They were only doing breakfast, so we're sharing the um, brioche and avocado. I've had to drain the egg. Nick's drained the egg um, of the yolk and put it on mine. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I mean, I can eat it. It's just a, it's just a mental thing. Right, we're just walking away. Um, we actually realised after we'd eaten it that we'd actually they forgot to put the bacon on. So we got this massive plate of smoked American bacon, which was absolutely delicious. It would have been healthy. It would have been nice if we'd have had it on the actual meal that we asked for. It was but nice. um, that hot chocolate was super, super sweet. I've forgotten that American hot chocolates are not like British ones. We were I just had a saying, nice tea. we were just saying, there's not much here apart from the pier and the sign and a few shops back on the back streets and a few kind of like restaurants and things. Yeah. There's, there's not a really shops. a built-up area. There's a lot of. Um, sea facing apartments and not not so many hotel chains which is probably why when we were booking hotels we struggled to find something here yeah. and we had to stay in Santa Maria which is about 10 miles down the road. We did spot a nice um, cinnamon roll and espresso shop didn't we? We smelt it first <laughs> so we saw people eating it off the um, like big the cinnamon things yeah in a massive brown box so we may call for one one of them but we've got to be careful because we want to try something at each stop yes and his next stop is the Madonna Inn nothing to do with Madonna the singer it was the um, owner's uh, surname it was Alex Madonna. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in the car when I've looked it up on Wikipedia. It's basically a shop of eclectic. It's not a shop, it's a hotel. A hotel full of eclectic weird yeah. things. So I we're going to call you a little bit more about that. So we're going to call there on the um, on the way up, and then the next stop after that is going to be Morro Bay, which should be around dinner time. And at that point, then we're going to try the clam chowder in a bread bowl. Ooh, I'm really looking forward to that. Actually, it's not really I'm my surprised thing, but you want to try it I, because I've seen these bread bowls and all the things inside, and I'm, I imagine it's going to be sort of like. Um, like, like bread and bread and, and like Thousand Island dressing in hot heated up with 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 <laughs> it's nothing crab like that. In it. <laughs> it's like chicken soup with fish in it yeah, we'll in a bowl. See. We'll see. I've, I've had it before. It. It's got bits of bacon in it, if I remember. So the main streets are like just filled with gift shops, uh, little sort of um, candy, coffee, chocolate. That is that looks like a um, an adult star. You want some taffy? Yeah. Um, surf Thanks shops there. and then um, like some bars, restaurants, a hotel over there, Pismo Hotel. Ooh, Pismo Yogurt. So we could have actually booked this Motel 6, but after stopping in the Super 8, it kind of sounded similar, so we uh, it put it put us off it. But it uh, kind of looks all right from the outside. If you know if Motel 6 is a bit like Super 8, let us know in the comments. This is the cinnamon rolls, espresso and hot coffee store and all you can smell here you is cinnamon rolls, the old west cinnamon rolls. You can get the mix to make it all. Should we go and have a look? Well, I can smell it so I can have to have a look. Oh my god, look at those. I think they would crack the teeth. I think the teeth would rot by just looking at them. If I had one, I'd get the ones with all the nuts on. Why don't we just get one to save for later? Is it a better deal? No, because we're having clam chowder soon. Right, we're back in the car. Nick really fancies trying to have a drive on the beach, which he can do here at Pismo Beach. It's five dollars um, for access to drive on the beach. It does say it's recommended that you have a four-wheel drive car uh, to stay out of trouble, which we don't have, but we're gonna go and have a look. Um, it's just five minutes away from where we are, just to see if we can see any other cars going on and uh, have a go ourselves. Gotta try it. Right, so we've had to come a little detour because the other place was closed. But this is where we get on by the looks of it. 
What's the sand like though? I don't know. It says warning, soft sand, treacherous. Eek. Ooh. Well, I don't think we'll bother then. Street vehicles not advised. Only 4x4s. Four mm. Go around here. No, I'll just go around here. But um, just back up there and I can have a look. Right, so that's the kind of vehicle that, uh, that's going on that they advise 4x4s. Four fours. Although, freaking hell, that's just come off the beach. But you can see down there, look at all the 4x4s, four Jeeps and yeah, everything going on. Yeah, I don't think we should risk it. So uh, that's a shame. But, Damn it! Uh, oh well. Right, so the Madonna Inn is only a 16 minute drive from Pismo Beach. I've got a few facts about Madonna Continue Inn. Continue on North 4th Street for one mile. From Wikipedia. Uh, so, the Madonna Inn is a motel in San Luis Obi Obispo. I think that's how you say it, California. It opened for business in 1958 and it quickly became a landmark on the central coast of California. It is noted for its unique decor, pink dining room and themed rooms. And it was created by Madonna, uh, sorry, by Alex Madonna, a successful construction magnet and entrepreneur. Um, so there is apparently some restaurants there, a bakery and like a coffee shop and stuff like that. So we'll go and check that out, have a coffee there and uh, see if we can what we can look at and uh, apparently there's loads of like um, pink rooms, differently themed rooms, all sorts of stuff like that. There we go. It looks a busy place, it's like there's something going on today. Yards, turn right. I would imagine it's a lot of tourists just yeah, visiting the place. Wow, it looks like, I don't know. It looks it like, looks like it's, it's a whole theme park or something. Like all those Tesla for, um, bears there. In 200 yards, this slide looks right. Like, um, Flintstones? Yeah. Well, they did have a, a ride there. I had a Flintstones room once, and then um, whoever owns the Flintstones tried to sue them, so they had to stop it. That's, I bet you that's something to do with it, because that looks like the Flintstones. The rest of it looks as yeah. it looks a bit witchy. It's like, look at wow. the size of the car park. I know. Where's all these people going? <laughs> Pit me into this coffee shop. It does look like there's something going off at the other side of the Madonna in the world. Absolutely tons of cars in a field. Right, we're making this way in. We have no idea about this place. I think this is this the coffee shop. I oh, this is the coffee bit. shop. Smell the bit, right? All right, let's have a look in the Madonna in coffee shop. It is the Ooh, unusual. Oh my god. Look at all those cakes. Oh my god, look at the size of those cinnamon buns. Bigger than my hand. Look at all these cakes. Wow. Oh, I've just heard them say that because they're now awake for a table. So this is the coffee shop. It's an hour's wait. Oh no. So we can we just have a look that. around then? Yeah, you can get takeaway, she said it just did the end of the counter. Right, we've come through the um, coffee shop into this area. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what to say. It's like crazy golf. It's like a, um, I don't know, like a Christmas uh, shop. Oh, there's a bar here. Where? Uh, maybe I imagine so. Alex Madonna. Right, we're heading downstairs. Apparently, this is where the restrooms are, and there's a wine cellar as well. Oh, there's a shop here. Oh, and a shop as well. So uh, these are the restrooms. Right, we're just going to head into this shop here and uh, have a look around. I've just heard one of the staff members um, come up with an interesting fact. Uh, she said that Alex Madonna, the owner of this place, was best friends with John Wayne and Ronald Reagan. Oh, we know there's nobody in the restroom. We've got a in the bar. Yeah, so this is the restroom, so it's old enough to be like, oh, that's where the urinals are. <laughs> yeah, it's a fireplace. Yeah, I walked straight past that into the cubicle. It's like a fireplace, it's yeah. very strange. In fact, I think the fire's on the other side of that, isn't it? Possibly. The yeah. stairs are straight above. Look at the porcelain tiles, it's yeah. like Victorian um, tube stations in London. Let's get into the shop. Come on. So, this is the winery part of it. As you can see, lots of wines, lots of um, glasses. Everything's well. They were, in the, they were in the restaurant upstairs. Oh yeah, the glasses. Everything's very pink, so it looks like Alex Madonna really liked pink things. They're nice cups for six fifty. Oh, I like that. <laughs> no, these, these. I like some of these pink glasses and stuff. Pink's very in now for men. Ooh, sauces. Oh my god. 
What? The seasoning rubs you have. I've seen about. I've seen these on YouTube. It's a shame we can't get into the coffee shop, but we don't really have an hour to wait for a table. I'm gonna get this. Ooh, Nick's making a purchase from the Madonna Inn. Oh, look at these um, postcards. It shows you some of the rooms. So yeah, they're all all different. Each room is all unique. And I don't think any of them are the same. I don't know how much it would uh, cost to stay here. I think it did say there were vacancies outside. Couldn't pass a uh, spices and sauces shop without buying some um, meat rubs. Yeah. So we'll have to wait till we get back to the UK to try that. And I got a little postcard, which has come in a little Madonna in bag, which will be in my journal. Look at this restaurant, it's just amazing. So this Alex Madonna, I'm guessing was a uh, fan of pink, definitely. It's like, a, it's like a Las Vegas club. It's what I imagine Dollywood would be like, yeah. you know, if like Dolly Parton owned this. I think the Flamingo Hotel in Vegas looks something like this, like traditional boothy type yeah. things. Look at that booth under the table and the big goblet on the yeah. table. And then upstairs, there's another shop, boutique and gift shop. So let's go and have a look at that. This is a, a very funky shop. Look at that. How much is that for? Look, two hundred and fifteen dollars. Nick, what about that? It reminds me of a uh, second hand shop, like an antique shop in Beverly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Similar colour. I've never Everything's seen anything like that in Beverly, though. Well, no, I think I don't think I've ever seen like that. Anything like that anywhere. Quick shout out to our friend Mark, who I'm sure would love one of those caps and would definitely wear it. Found out you want, Nick. Well, if the kids were here, they'd want these because they're squishy. Squishy, yeah. colourful things. It's got nothing to do with Madonna, though, has but, it? Um, Alex no, Madonna. Can't really see anything I want. You want some slippers? Show me them. Right, so that was the Madonna Inn. So, Very uh, weird. I've always wanted to see that, actually. I've always heard about it and um, finally seen it. The sun is out, so that's nice. And we think the next stop now is Morrow Bay. Is that where you said That's the clam chowder time. Have the clam chowder. And the sun is out, so yeah. we've missed Pismo Beach without the sun, which is a damn shame. But there's plenty of places to stop on route. Lots of just glad it's out because I didn't fancy looking at sort of like those scenic drops with the grey skies would just ruin the photos. Let's go. I think I described what I was expecting to be wrong earlier. I said Thousand Island dressing. I didn't really mean that. I mean, what I mean is well, like a thousand a, miles off. <laughs> I th I'm thinking it's going to be sort of creamy, white, like a chickeny sauce. Um, so we'll see. Change your bloody We'll see what it's like. I just like the idea of getting like a soup in a bread bowl and then being able to tear the bread and it's dip more it like in. a stew than a soup. Yeah, I imagine so. Like a really thick and creamy fish stew. Yeah. There's the rock. I, get, I take it we're not going onto the rock. You can get a boat, I think. Boat tours, but yeah. we're just going to go in the in the bay, the harbour, the fishing area. All we're interested in is the clam chowder. Right, we're just going to find some parking. Oh, there's a little market there, waterfront market. Right, let's head left then, shall we? Oh, well, it says parking there to the right. Uh, okay, let's do that then. Surprisingly, we've managed to get free car parking space on a Saturday. Um, in this um, public car park in the, At the back of the uh, Maritime Museum. Yeah, back of the Maritime Museum, the, the uh, rock is just over there. You can actually go in all these boats. People up there having photos taking an old US Coast Guard's boat, a fishing trawler, this big massive one here. Maybe we'll do that when we come back. When we've had a clam chowder. Clam chowder. That's where we parked behind the Maritime Museum. Free public parking lot, which is very convenient, just near the three um, chimneys. And you can have a look around the Maritime Museum if you wish. So, welcome to the Embarcadero. What does it say? Embarcadero. So, this is where we are. This is the uh, big chimneys. There's the rock. And um, 
think I was just about to go over this road here. Have a look at these restaurants here. Is this how it was in the dead or yeah, how it is yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. No, no, because there's only one one um, chimney. There's three there now. Ah, uh, yeah. And plus, this is all built up now here. And it says there, the ground on which you stand is not natural. The entire waterfront from the rock to the Tidelands Park has been man-made. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah, from the late 50s, it says. Yeah. So it does actually look like you can walk to the Morro Rock. There's like a land, like a land bank there at the other side. And there seems to be a lot of cars, a couple of RVs and some motorhomes on the other side of it. And there's lots and lots of seafood restaurants all the way down. All what do they serve? Down. Well, there's one there, it's called the Little Hood Fish and Chips. But uh, I'm sure we're going to be able to find clam chowder here. If you say clam chowder once more clam in this chowder. video, we'll be getting comments. Okay, so I can already see Lee getting nervous. He's standing well back because I am literally sat with my legs on the pier. Just looking at the uh, seaweed, whatever it is floating by. And I can actually hear some kind of restaurant or boat having some kind of party out there. So we will actually walk around that area over there and then uh, get some clam chowder, shall yeah, we? come on, clam chowder. So we were just randomly walking along and spotted these things. I don't know what they are. Are they either seals or sea otters or something like that? Yeah, they're otters. I just heard somebody say they are otters. That one there's showing off. He's just literally laid on his back. Does a summit stop, summit turn, flips over, puts his arms in the air, rolls over and then does it again. And then the other one's doing the same thing as well. First bit of wildlife we've seen on this trip so far. Now apparently the next stop up the cove is um, Elephant Vista Point, which is basically where all the elephant seals are. And if it's anything like it was when we went to San Francisco years ago, they absolutely stink. I love that. I was just chilling, having a sunbathe. This looks like a very popular place. It must be the place to eat. Um, Giovanni's, look at the queue for it. So uh, I, don't, I think we'll give that one a miss, but uh, if you have time, that looks like a very popular place. All right, so we've just got to the front. Ooh, the dough connection. Cookie dough dessert, some more in there. So uh, we fancy having food. I won't say that word again. <laughs> With a sea view. So, uh, or a, is it an estuary this? Rather than a view, uh, rather than the sea. Not quite an estuary. It's not. It's not big enough to do an estuary. I don't think. But we fancy uh, Ooh, eating. This looks like a public place. With a view. Right, we finally chosen one. We we searched high and low for the best looking one. No, we didn't. We walked down the front and we got <laughs> to the very this. end, and yeah. then we saw a picture, which is exactly what we're expecting. And we're right next to the estuary. It is an estuary. It is, yeah. So it's Blue Sky Bistro on the bay and we are having local favourite clam chowder sourdough bread bowl, bowl for 16.95. We are going to share. We're going to share because these bread rolls are quite big and we've got lots more stops. We're going to a really nice coffee shop or something next. Lily's, I think, is on the next stop in the next village up. Yeah, so Nick's going to show you the view that we've got while we're having So this is why we walked up and down the seafront because we wanted to sit on the bay while we were having clam chowder. As you can tell, clam chowder is the theme of this video because when we watched the videos on YouTube before we came and did a bit of research, it's Everybody was thing. saying have yeah. clam chowder, it's like the local dish. If you didn't get it, it's clam chowder. Clam chowder. All I can see is a hidden Mickey. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Hat and two ears. Right, hidden Mickey. So I'm going to have to um, spoil Dip the hidden bread Mickey. In. And uh, finally try this. Go on. Is it going to be very fishy? Well, I can smell it's fishy. I kind of hoping you don't like it. Exactly how I imagined it. No, what, like a fishy soup? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're right, let me just try it without the bread. My mouth's watering, I want to try mm. it. It's really nice. Is it creamy? Really creamy, really. Not really fishy, just fishy, but not like a fishy. horrible fishy. Really right, nice. I'm going to try it. Right, is this garlic bread? Yeah, I think that's like a crusty garlic bread. I don't right. even know if it's to garlic, but let me try this. I take it that's paprika on it's top. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, it's not fishy at all. No, it's, it's, not, it's more. It's just creamy and potatoy yeah, and it's creamy potato. There's hardly any. That is really nice. taste at all. Mm. That is amazing. It's just like I imagined it would. Yeah, me too. 
Mm. So we've literally eaten the soup out the middle and then sliced the bread in half. It is very, very filling. Filling, but so good. It is, a, it is amazing. It's more like, it's not like, oh, it's expected to be more fishy, but it's more like a creamy salmon soup. I can't just any fish at no, all. No, but it's nice. Yeah. So one of the other facts that I uh, found out about Morrow Bay when I was looking it up is that it's from the film Finding Nemo. Uh, sorry, forgot, Finding Dory. He forgot to tell us. Yeah. Dory. Like Dory. So this, when the um, Sea Life Institute, or whatever it's called, where Sigourney Weaver does the voiceover, that's where Dory was supposed to be been born, and it's supposed to be here at Morrow Bay. Right, we're just going to have a little uh, head on through the markets here on the way back to the car. And the next stop was going to be like a coffee shop or something, about 29 minutes away. But as we've had quite a bit, <laughs> we've decided to skip that one. And we're going to go to somewhere where there's some seals. Is that correct, Nick? Um, Elephant Vista Point. Yeah. Very nautical looking uh, stall there. Oh, I love all the Halloween stuff. Wow, look at those. Never seen an Fidget advent toys, calendar. advent calendar. Never seen an advent calendar in America. Oh, well, no, yeah, they don't really have them over here, do they? Pop it. Right, I've just looked up uh, Finding Dory. The Marine Life Institute where Dory was born was actually fictional, so it isn't actually here, but it was located in Morro Bay. And I love Finding Dory. I like Finding Nemo even more, but I like Finding Dory. Just a bit of fact there. Just having a look around the Maritime Museum as it's free to look around. Would you like to be in that submarine? I've just looked inside so there's a window at the end. It's definitely it's worse than being under the lodge. It was, <laughs> it's a bit like that, um, the Nemo ride at Disneyland California. That's a bit like that. Look in there, you can actually see the light from the windows at the other end. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. claustrophobic. Um, in being there and then under the sea as well. The thought of the panic <laughs> fills me with dread. It's just a small little... Uh, Museum, there's a little uh, indoor area, and then just these few little bits. Harpoon gun. Is that a whaling gun? I'm sure uh, they used them in Star Trek 4 when they were doing uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Love whales. Yeah. Right, so the next stop is Elephant Point Vista. Elephant Vista Point. Elephant Vista Point. Where we're going to see some giant elephant seals. We were, as I said, we were going to go and stop off at some coffee shop that we'd seen on some vlogs, uh, but we just had that clam chowder and it closes soon, so we'll skip that one and go to Elephant Vista Point, which is about 40 minutes to go. I feel the day is coming to an end And my eyes are drawn to southern skies And all the while I was trying to pretend The promised land Right, we've parked up at the elephant seal viewing area. It's free to park. It was nice and easy to get in. Hopefully we'll see a lot of them because there's a lot of people here looking at them. So uh, let's check them out. Wow, loads of them. Right, a little bit of information here. So um, these um, elephant seals were thought to be extinct until 1990 when biologists spotted over a dozen animals for the first time. And then in 1992, the first pup was born here. And it says here, the total population of this college is now more than 15,000, but an updated sheet there says now it's what, 25,000? 25,000 and then 250,000 that use the seven mile long beach up and down the coast.
right onto our next stop, which is just six minutes away. But look at that view. That's my Lord of the Rings. I know. <laughs> it just looks like some out of a, an American movie. I don't know which one, but you just like see Jason and the Argonauts or Sinbad or something. Well, no, I was thinking more like Thelma and Louise. Uh, yeah. That one in desert. Road's getting a bit thinner now, and um, we keep seeing like what we think are eagles up above the trees. Some and, kind of bird of prey, yeah. Definitely. And the next point is called Ragged Point. Now we've completely lost signal, so I can't look it up. We've just we put it in as a point of interest. Um, I think we'll, it's just kind of rock formation, yeah. but I don't know the history of it. It's we'll in the notes, but yeah. offline. We'll see when we get there. But uh, <laughs> I'm glad we're literally on the precipice yeah. of a cliff, just um, down there. Yeah. I mean, if you were driving south, you'd literally on the cliff yeah. edge. I'm glad we're on this side. It's just like a, a, a stop where you can get some great views, I imagine. I hope, I think there's, a, it is. I hope there's a coffee stand. I fancy a coffee. I don't think you're going to get that. No, I don't actually. Right, this is completely different than we were expecting. We just thought it would be like a lookout point, but they've even got a gasoline station, a market, a snack bar, barbecue, a barbecue dining room, a coffee shop, and oh. a restaurant, and a hotel. <laughs> Loving it. I don't want to see raggeds. I want to go for a, a, for a coffee. And a cake. So that's the lookout of Ragged Point. That's as far as we can get because there's a big private party for a wedding all in the grounds. Every access road is down, but we've yeah. actually come to the back of a block of um, rooms. Yeah. And this is the view. So it it's looks stunning. Yeah, it looks like a nice place to stay. There's so many amenities here as well. Yeah, that's lovely. That. It's like one of the lodges at Wilderness Lodge. We saw yeah. glass on the front and it just faces out. Maybe that's the uh, bridegroom, the, like the... Um, Bridal suite. Yeah, yeah. Honeymoon suite. Honeymoon suite, yeah. Maybe. So uh, we're just going to have a little look at this. And then we're going to have a coffee and a cake, yeah? I need something to keep me alert. I'm, I've got jet lag still. So that looks like the main sort of inn there. And then the beautiful gardens here, which is where they're having a wedding. You can hear some music as well going off for the wedding. I and think that's the band around the other side in the car. Oh, maybe, actually. actually. Yeah, there is so a band, band there. Up, wasn't there. It's a nice place to stay, this, isn't it? It's, it's lovely. It's absolutely amazing. I'm sure I actually looked it up and I think there was no availability. Probably because of the wedding. Probably, yeah, probably because. It's a, it's a caf full caffeine, blended caffeine mocha. Oh my goodness, you're going to be bouncing. I know, I need something to end now. And I've got a uh, mango iced tea. Right, we're just leaving the ragged point. And, um, Continue on California, one north for 37 miles. 37 miles to our next stop, which is, Nick? McWay Falls. McWay Falls, which, which is, is a waterfall. waterfall. Okay, we just stopped. Literally. Just there. Just round the corner. Just 100 yards from the last scene. Yeah, just to see if we could see anything. Because we couldn't really see anything in there because of the wedding. I think Ragged Point is just there. Oh yeah, well there's some people there, we're going to have a look. And we'll yeah. have a quick look. Right, so over there is the Ragged Point where we've just been. And the wedding is in those trees. And that is effectively Ragged Point. I think, because it looks very ragged and it gets down to a point. You think that's a good point? Eh? The step and the path. Oh yeah, the path that goes all the way down to the beach. Yeah. Yeah, you can just see it over there. And we thought the ones in Cornwall were uh, hard to get. There's from. no steps there. That is literally just dust tracks. But look at that. This is where I'm stood. I mean, the camera never really picks up the the ambience of where you are. But look at where we are. Look at that rugged coastline. And we're literally at the bottom of a big um, rock face. There are signs everywhere that says uh, rock slides. 
on that side. Don't go in here, you're not gonna slide off. That looks like Ragged Point. Look at all the raggedy path. Look at that where we actually have to go miles inland there and then come back again before we get to our destination. Right, onto the waterfall. I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between. How long, how long, how long did you wait for me? How long, how long, how long? It's not the big bridge, which we think is a big sir, but um, we are going over a Bridge. Big ish bridge. Big ish bridge. We have 11 minutes to get to uh, our next destination. It's I must say, it takes a lot of concentration yeah. to keep within your lane on these roads because it's constantly changing. You're always either going around a corner or going up a hill or dodging cars on the other side. It does take a certain amount of, well, quite a lot of concentration to keep on track. Imagine having a camper van like that and just parking up there. Wow, that's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to be a lot wider. Yeah, a lot longer, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, we're two minutes away. It's got a little bit more greener, a little bit more wooded area, sort of. A lot more trees. Because we're heading north. North is cooler. Yeah, so, so apparently we get a lot greener. When we get here, there should be a waterfall. What's it called? McWay Mc Falls. Falls. Right, we're parked up and we're looking for the uh, waterfall. There's a $10 charge to park up here um, and there's not many uh, spaces, but we managed to get one. I think I can hear a waterfall, but uh, just keeping an eye out for snakes and uh, anything that can uh, crawl along this footpath. It's <laughs> small, isn't it? Yes, I expected <laughs> a much bigger waterfall than that. Me too. Let me zoom in. But uh, there's no denying that's an impressive view down there. I guess it's not a beach that anybody goes down to and um, well, sunbathes. The path from the car park is over there. Yeah, we've just come. That's why we parked in there. And then you uh, just walk around up there. Oh, you can go down there by the looks of it. You have to walk around where the. Uh, the pay booth is. Look at that. That's stunning. For a view. So there is actually a viewing platform just there if you go on the lower road, which obviously will make it look a little bit bigger. We're above it, but that one below will actually be level with it, so it'll be a bit more impressive when you see it down there. But uh, it's making me want to wee. That sums up. I do want to wee myself, actually. Right, so parking for this is actually on the opposite side of the road to where the falls. So if you're traveling south, it's on the left, the parking's on the right. Um, I think it's called, we'll put on screen what the state park entrance is called now. Uh, you drive around and basically just follow the road back on yourself and there's like a tunnel over there, which takes you to the lower level. We actually went up the roadway uh, and looked at it from a higher, higher viewing point. If you can't get in that car park space down there, just keep going um, up. And up, and up the hill and there's lots of pulling places which yeah. we could have got in could have parked there would have been until, safe 10 minutes until we got there so that was a flying visit to that um waterfall we're trying to get through as many as we can until we get to san francisco and it is now 4 46 in the afternoon so our next stop is 14 minutes away i think it's pronounced nepenthe uh, now this is one that a lot of our patrons uh told us about and said that we must go here to a restaurant and watch a sunset now i don't think we're going to see the sunset because that's not going to happen for another three hours and we're only 14 minutes away but we'll go and check out the restaurant maybe just have a drink or something toilet break etc and um, see what that's all about if you got something to say Yosemite or something. Yeah, it's like you expect Kirk to be climbing up it on Star Trek and then fall off, don't you? Which, like El Capitan. We will be in Yosemite 
next week. Right, here we are. So we are at Nepenthe, the Phoenix shop, and a cafe. Cafe Kavar. Cafe Kavar. Always reminds me of Rura Penthe from um, Star Trek Undiscovered Country, the <laughs> penal colony. Yeah. So uh, we'll go and see if there's anything that takes our fancy. We're not overly hungry, but at least it'll stop us. Um... We can't come here and not have something to yeah, eat. Yeah, exactly. We'll have a salad, something. Doing it for the vlog, come on. Nice and peaceful around here. There's quite a bit of a walk to the cafe though, up the steps. Random telephone box. It's like a Superman. Let me walk at it. <laughs> it's like one of those Superman gets changed in, isn't it? Yeah. Get your old fashioned phone book, lucky. Four minutes for a dollar. Here we go. Right, up more steps. Can't moan at that view for a that coffee, can you? Stunning. Look at that. Wow. I want to sit just here right, if we can. Get a menu. So we did get a buzzer and the uh, wait times were about 40 to 50 minutes. So, um, and we looked at the menu, the prices are very, very expensive. Very expensive. About $60. Yeah, $60 for a, for a steak, $40 for a chicken, just chicken and mash. So um, we're going to explore around. Uh, not sure whether we're going to eat here yet, but um, just going to have a mooch first. So the restaurant is on the top level with the massive views and then just a, like, a deck below is where the cafe is and then the, uh, the Phoenix um, gift shop as well. So we're just walking down there now just to see whether the cafe is actually open. There's not many people around. No, it's not open. The gates are shut. But this is where it is. So that's your cafe Kiva. And then you've got your gift shop down there. So we will head down there, see if that's open. But you still get pretty good views from the cafe. Uh, but I would imagine that opens during the day and they've just switched from the lunch menu to the dinner menu. So that's probably why the, uh, the cafe is shut now for the rest of the day. Right, the gift shop is open. So um, just having a mooch. So they've got, oh, here you go. Who's found the journals? Right, I'm gonna have a, a wander around. It's more like a home shop than anything else. Things for your house, your table, napkins, tea towels, that kind of stuff. Oh, he's gonna love this. Nice big book, book section. Stuff on the area, Big Sur, California Central Coastline and Monterey. So um, if you're driving from south to north, by the time you get these, you probably won't need them anyway. Cooking books, different types of salts and things like that. That's my kind of thing. And then out here, like a mini garden centre type thing with stunning views. Check that out. Oh my god, he's found journal. something. Oh my god. Is that actually. It looks like. Is it new? It's new, yeah, but it's just like. It's like papy uh, papyrus. Yeah. Does it feel like papyrus? Yeah. Oh my god, it does. You know the flies that are flying in front of There's the lens. There's flies around. I love <laughs> that. Like, you'd, you'd feel that in two days. I know, like... So you're not getting it then? No, but I do like some of these. Look at that one as well. It does look oldie worldly, but... Yeah. It, it, I like the... It's, 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 you know what it reminds me of? No, wait a minute. It reminds me of Indiana Jones. Last Crusade. I was yeah. going to say the exact same thing. Yeah, it's the, his, his dad's um, his notebook, dad's isn't journal. it? I was going to say the exact same thing. It'll probably look a little bit more like that. No, that, that, that was, that was definitely like, like authentic. That is $34. It doesn't say how much the other ones are. But Why don't yeah. you treat yourself and get one? Um, because I've got one in car. I've got a journal in car. The one that you don't fill in? Well, I haven't got time. Either. Of course you've got time. Mm. We're on a road trip. You've got as much time as you need. I'm busy editing. That's very, um, like, $14. oriental. It's very oriental, that one, isn't it? That one is, but yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to remind me of the... Indiana Jones. Indiana I knew Indiana we were going to say that straight away. <laughs> now, Nick's found something. I don't know what flavour that is, but oh my god. It's um, wildflower and amber noir. But... Oh, I, I, like that. I like that. Oh yeah, that is actually really, really nice. Right. How much is that? Put it down. <laughs> How much? $25. What about the... Uh, is that the um, diffuser for it? Um, is that the same smell? Too think? expensive. We'll get some uh, crisps instead because I'm a little bit peckish actually. But I can't bother waiting 40 minutes for the uh, cafe. Oh, Root 11 potato chips, kettle cut chips. What flavours we've got? Salt and vinegar, sour cream and chive, dill pickle. 
five dollars. Nine dollars for a bag of um, tortilla chips. Tortilla. <laughs> These are five dollars. Right, so there you go. So Nepenthe. It does look like a nice place if you want a meal on your way up here and a great view for the um, sunset. There's a lot of flies here though, so I won't, I won't want to eat my food around those. So we're going to get back into the car and on to our next stop. Right, so we have a choice. Yeah. We have got three locations close by. One is the Big Sur, Big Sur River Gorge. Yeah. One is basically a beach okay. uh, with like rock formations with arches through it. We can't do all these, so we need to pick something. Um, the other one is basically the um, the Rocky Creek Bridge, which Ooh, yeah. is the big bridge that we've seen. Well, do we not go over that anyway? We will, but that's 13 miles away. The others are like within two or three miles. Okay. Well, we'll get in the car and decide. It is kind of getting a little bit late, and we've yeah. still got another. <laughs> Bless you. We have got another two hours to get to San Francisco from here. Yeah. So. And I'm getting peckish now. I wasn't hungry when we went in there, but then I saw people's food, and I'm like, oh, I'm a little bit hungry. It's just a shame the cafe wasn't open. Yeah. Oh, Right, we're just driving over this bridge called Bixby Bridge and we saw that everybody had stopped so we thought we'd, uh, we couldn't miss out on what they were all looking at. So they're looking at that bridge and then this absolutely stunning view of that beach. It's beyond stunning. And the ocean. Look at the tiny trickle down at the bottom as well of the water that flows from under the bridge. Yeah. I don't even know what it is in the street. <laughs> so we've driven all the way up there, come down there and then just around this corner here is the actual bridge that we're going to. The, the other one's called the Rocky Creek, I think it is. This one's called the Bixby. Yeah. There's quite a lot, but this is... I have seen this on vlogs, but the other one is the one we've pinpointed to look at. Yeah, the other one looks amazing. I mean, that looks pretty good as well. But the one around the corner looks stunning, but we had to just stop and uh, check out this view that everybody was looking at. So one good tip is, when you're driving on the PCH, whenever you see people like congregating like this, stop. If something's you've got time, off. something's going off and there's something good to look at. It's very difficult though when you're driving north because you're on the opposite side of the road and a lot of yeah. the parking stops are on corners. So a lot of them we've had to kind of skip. bridge that we thought was going to be even more impressive but it's not quite as impressive so the other one may be the one that we were thinking about but, I think uh, it was the other one that yeah. I've seen in pictures I somehow managed to miss point it yeah. on Google Maps but that view is impressive there so the next oh let's go down there no trespassing private property oh. no beach access well can we not go halfway where there's not the sign right so our next big stop before San Fran. It is 6 p.m. by the way. Yeah, so it's getting on any time. And if you, if you know anything about San Fran, it's not the most safest of places. So we don't want to be there too late, walking around the streets with all our luggage. So we're gonna go to Carmel by the Sea, which looks like a nice place. Is this the place where um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was? No. Oh, Clint Eastwood. Oh, Clint Eastwood. Oh, he was the mayor. Somebody. Clint Eastwood was the mayor and it's, it looks like a, a nice place with quaint restaurants, cafes and stuff. We'll probably try and have our evening meal there. We did have Monterey on the list but we can't do everything so no, we're getting a little bit short on time sea. now. So well, we're seeing lots of nice stunning views and what have you. Um, if you've got time you need probably, you could do a, maybe a week or so on, on the um, I mean we've done a PCH. lot today. I think two nights, like split it into three sections. Yeah. yeah. But we actually skipped the first three hours of the Pacific Coast Highway between LA and we went straight to Santa, Santa Maria last night. So we didn't do Malibu, we didn't do Santa Barbara, we didn't do any of the other coastal things north of LA. Yeah. We literally cut the corner off because we knew we wanted to start at Pismo Beach. On to Carmel by the Sea. Right, we've got parked up in Carmel by the sea. We're just gonna have a wander into uh, like what looks like the main town area. Lots of restaurants, lots of inns, uh, cafes and things like that. So we're just gonna see which one we like the look of. 
and um, get ourselves sat down and have something to eat and then it's another about two hours drive to San Francisco there it's about half past six now so it's gonna be quite late when we get there this so reminds me of Mount Dora in Florida it's got that same feel it's got that same vibe it's like everything single story and it, there's fairy lights on almost everything so we're just entering the main area we're actually nowhere near the coast bit at the minute that's kind of that way but up this street here there's loads of restaurants and bars and things like that I'm not, I'm not liking this. I'm driving and of course Lee is having a drink. Just to point out, I'm having water because I don't have non-alcoholic beer. Just to point out, I have said to Nick, I will drive whenever you want. I like driving in America. And Nick says, no, I've always wanted to do a road trip in America uh, across state and he wants to do all the driving. I do. I do get it in the film. However, so we're in San Francisco. We're in San Francisco next for three days with the car being parked for three days, which means I will not have to um, drive, which means I can make up for it so, when we get there. This has now become our favorite red wine, Pinot Noir. So light and refreshing. And I wouldn't we, know. <laughs> we are in the Treehouse Cafe. We saw it on a vlog when we were looking up this um, camel by the sea, and it looked, well, we saw it outside, and it does look really nice outside. You look down on the street, but it's full out there, but we're inside and we're fine. Do you think it's like Mount Dora though? It's very, yeah, very similar. quaint yeah. and cultured like. Yeah. Starting off with a little bit of bread. Mm. Good. We were going to order this on the menu. Glad we didn't now. Oh, it's delicious. It's like a garlic. Garlic balsamic um, oil. And then mains we've got a salad with some lamb. I think it's lamb. Pita bread and uh, tzatziki sauce. What have I ordered? What is it? I don't want to say because I don't, I'll always get around. Hero. Kiros. Kiros. It's not a hero. Hero salad. Hero. <laughs> right, so that's where we just ate in the Treehouse Cafe. That's the outside, which would have been really nice because you could look down onto the street, but uh, it was still nice. The food was very nice there. Now we're getting out of here pretty quickly because now we have, as I said, a two hours, six minute drive to get to San Francisco. It's about 7 p.m. So probably dark by the time we get there. We need fuel as well. Oh yeah, we need some uh, petrol as well. We would have loved to have another look around Carmel by the sea, but we yeah. just sadly run out of time. We were going to go so we'll to the again. sea because obviously it's by the sea. We we're going to go look at the sea, but we've seen the sea quite a lot today. Yeah. Um, so um, we it don't too mind too very, much. I mean, we've only literally looked at one street, so I'm yeah. sure it's very nice on all the other areas, but sadly we've run out of time. Yeah, we didn't include um, Pacific Coast Highway like it was just a, a, a was way a, to get to San Francisco. It wasn't like a major part of our trip. Yeah. So um, if, if you're gonna been, do like a road trip in Los, like California, Los Angeles, the uh, PCH, make sure you um, you know have a, quite a few number of nights because there's so much to two uh, nights, explore. Three nights, yeah. Three nights to really explore it. We've literally done half of it in a day, and we have run out of run out of yeah. time to be able to do the extra Which things, we knew so. were going to happen, it just wasn't part of our road trip. We uh, wanted to see other places more. And it's so cool tonight, it's lovely. And much better. We've just got gasoline and I'll just show you as we're driving out the streets of Camel by the Sea. At night. At night. Oh, I think we've just missed most of it. <laughs> um, but it's just a really nice quaint little um, town, like lots of inns. Yeah, these are the hotels, these yeah. are like, um, oh my god, there's a, there's a massive fire pit there running on that one. Lots of inns, lots of restaurants, lots of bars. Very much like Mount Dora, I think. Lots of shops. And if you've not heard it five times already, Nick thinks it's very much like Mount Dora. Liam disagrees. Take the next right onto Camino yeah. del Monte. Love all these little... This um, is a bit sailor me, isn't it, yeah, this one? all these motels and, uh, well, they call them inns here. Um, right, it looks like we're heading In out now. In a quarter of a mile, slight left to stay on Camino del Monte. So we have two hours, four minutes to get to our hotel in San Francisco. We'll get there at 20 past nine. Right, here we are going into uh, San Francisco. 
Is that the Golden Gate Bridge over there? Continue for no, one mile. It's north of the island. That's the Bay Bridge, I think. Ah, the Bay Bridge. Um, so uh, we are 10 minutes away from our hotel. Thank God. Thank goodness it's felt like a long drive and we're both ready for our beds now. But uh, 10 more minutes. It's been a very, very long day. Get to the hotel, get checked in, get unpacked. And we're straight to bed. Yeah. Right, we found the car park to the uh, hotel. So uh, <laughs> we're just waiting to uh, <laughs> talk to this guy here, I presume. And, uh, See what we do. He's the valet attendant, I think. I think we'll just get out here. Yeah. Load his luggage and he just parks yeah. the car. Yeah. Right, we've left all our luggage with Bell Services. <laughs> I don't like doing that. Um, the next time we see it, we should be in the room. And um, just got to check in now. This is a bit of a swanky um, reception. So this is the um, St. Francis. Western Inn, something like that. I'll tell you when we get to the room. This is a little bit better than our usual motel <laughs> stay, isn't it? <laughs> There's no buttons. How does it know it's tickets? Oh, have you just... I told it outside and it told me to get in seat. Okay. <laughs> this is a bit weird. This is a bit flash. Nice yeah. floor already. Yeah, that's it. That's gone up quick. Very nice. What's this hotel called again? Uh, Western St. Francis. Western St. Francis. 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 <laughs> I'm tired. Western St. Francis Union Square, San Francisco. Are you sure it's the right room? 980 tower. Yep. My god, it's bigger than the apartment. <laughs> More lights, more lights. Uh, Blimey, we're high up. That'll be a good view in the morning. Bloody hell, you're not getting <laughs> high up. Crikey. Oh my God. That'll be a very good view in the morning. I'll show you around the room quickly. Oh my God, look at the size of that bed. I'm going to be able to it's spread so out and, and sleep you can whatever this <laughs> shape I want. A uh, couple of chairs there. Nice desk there. Um, TV, little uh, drink station, coffee station. Let's have a look at the uh, wardrobe. Nice. Oh, we've got a safe. We were just saying that we haven't had a safe yet so well, far yeah. this trip. And then uh, the bathroom. Starbucks coffee. Yeah. I don't know why I could drink a coffee, but I'll save it until morning. My God, the bathroom's massive. <laughs> There's no door. Oh, there is. So this is where we are for the next three nights. Now we are just waiting for Bell Services to come with our cases. So Nick's just had to Google, we've just had to Google how much you tip a Bell boy. <laughs> I don't know, we don't use a Bell <laughs> uh, boy. So uh, we've got some money out for the tip. And uh, then we'll get unpacked. Hi, welcome to Western St. Francis. Right, we've got our suitcases and we're all settled in, we've unpacked. And Nick wanted to go down for a drink, but I said, you've no chance, I'm so knackered. <laughs> Well, it looks like a very friendly hotel, lots and lots of people. It's like a big Disney hotel or something. So if you want to go down for a drink, I'm sure um, you, you could do it on your own. So I'm going to go to bed. So we'll see you on the next vlog where we will be exploring San Francisco. Um, so we've, have, we've got a few things on our list we want to do. We have been to San Francisco before, a long, long time ago. So there's some things that we're not going to do again. We're not going to do Alcatraz again because we did that. And... Um, we did Chinatown last time as well, so maybe skip that because we want to concentrate on things that we haven't done before. Um, so thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our journey up the Pacific Coast Highway. Um, and let us know in the comments below, have you been up there? And um, have, did you, have you been to any of the places that we went? Obviously, there's lots of places that we could have stopped. Um, Big Sur, we kind of just drove past through there. Um, but, um, you know, one day we might come back and explore it properly. But for now, we're in San Francisco, and we'll see you on the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below, and hit that subscribe button, and we shall see you on the next vlog in San Francisco. Bye. Bye.